the following question reads uh, that an unknown organic compound reacts with sodium to give a combustible gas. So a uh, combustible gas is being formed as one of the products and does not give a yellow precipitate with alkaline aqueous iodine. So the first thing is what does, what does sodium react with? Sodium reacts with alcohols and it also reacts with carboxylic acids. Now, uh, since there is no option in the in the uh, in the options for carboxylic acid, so you, you can't really have a carboxylic acid. So we are dealing with an alcohol over here. And what happens in the reaction is that when you, whenever you have an OH group, uh, the Na comes in, it uh, knocks away the hydrogen and substitutes it, and Na plus one salt is produced. So O minus one Na plus one is formed, and the hydrogen is going to be displaced, and it's going to be a very very slow reaction. So this would be the combustible gas because hydrogen burns. So it's a combustible gas. So we are dealing with an alcohol. So uh, I'm going to remove some of the options. Uh, some of the options that I'm going to remove is propanol. It's not an alcohol. Propanone, that is not an alcohol as well. So so I've uh, I've cut down my options to two. It would either be B, propanol, or C, propan two all. Now, the remaining part of the question states uh, that it does not give a yellow precipitate with alkaline aqueous iodine. So, yellow precipitate with alkaline aqueous iodine. This uh, reaction is known as the iodoform test. The iodoform test is positive. It gives a yellow precipitate with two specific structures. One of them is uh, the two structures that give positive results, so yellow precipitates. These two are the structures that are going to give positive results. Uh, so it's either a methyl with, uh, with a carbon with an OH group or a methyl with a carbon double bond O. Now we've already ruled out uh, aldehydes and ketones. Uh, we have already stated that it should be an alcohol, so it must be this structure over here. So I have propen one all and propen two all. Uh, remember, iodoform tests are very, uh, you have to, ha they test for a very specific structure. So it has to be, the molecule must contain methyl with the carbon and an H and an OH. It has to have the exact structure. Only then would the test be positive. So uh, option C, according to this, option C is going to be the correct option. Because if I draw option C, this over here is option C. It's propane to all three carbon atoms, OH on the second one. So you can look carefully, it's a methyl next to a carbon, H and OH. So it's a methyl next to a carbon and an H and an OH. So it's going to give a positive result uh, for iodoform test as well. So propen one all would not have the structure. Even if I draw propen one all, propen one all is this molecule over here. You would notice that uh, it doesn't have this structure. There is an OH, but uh, apart from that, there is no OH next to a carbon with a hydrogen with a CH3. CH3 is very far away, so it has to be CH3 right next to this structure. That is only present in this structure over here. And it's going to give a yellow precipitate because the CH3 group is going to break off and it's going to form a yellow precipitate of CHI3 triiodomethane. So option C is going to be your correct option for this particular question.